Hey, what's up guys? So I'm here with my HTC Evo and I'm going to be flashing the latest uh, ROM from MIUI. And this is going to be the, the original MIUI, not the developer version. This is the uh, official uh, MIUI uh, US version. And uh, I just wanted to walk through walk uh, through the uh, process of it. This one, this process is a lot easier because they actually have <clears throat> on the website, which I'll provide in the link, on the MIUI US website, they have the uh, the code for it. And the scan code is right here. And what you want to do is you want to go to your phone. You want to open up the <clears throat> uh, not that. You actually want to open up uh, barcode scanner. You can get barcode scanner from uh, the market. Uh, you can go to the Google Market and just type in barcode scanner and get that. Download that. Once you get that, you're going to just open it up. And I'll just show you exactly what it is. You're going to open it and it's going to come to a screen like this. It may come to a separate screen just to let you know a little bit about barcode. Just hit done. And then once you get to this screen, you're going to go ahead and place it over that code and scan it. I don't want to scan it again because I don't want it to download to my SD card because I already did it. So uh, you're going to just hold it right over it, right over the barcode, and uh, you're done with that. And it'll start to download. It shouldn't take too long if you're on Wi-Fi. Uh, it took me about two minutes or so to get it fully downloaded. So it'll be show up in your notification screen, and there it is. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and restart my phone. So I'm going to just hit the power button. And some phones have the uh, uh, depending on which ROM you're using you should be able to go right into recovery by going in uh, by touching the restart and going hitting the recovery if you don't there's an alternative way of doing it and there's uh, the uh, the physical way of doing it you're gonna hit the down button on the volume rocker and uh, well first you're gonna turn your phone off completely off once it's off and you're sure that you're fully downloaded you're going to go ahead and uh, uh, hold the down button with the phone off and hold the power button at the top. You're going to do it, hold it for about two seconds and it's going to go into the, uh, the recovery mode. And uh, you should be able to get to recovery from there. There should be an, uh, an, an another screen that you'll be in, but you want to just press the down button, go to the second menu option, which is recovery, and flash into recovery mode. Uh, once you hit that recovery button, uh, uh, menu uh, you're gonna get to this screen HTC Evo 4G and that's normal and it's gonna take a little second and uh, you should be up and running and depending on where uh, you your you automatically have your file saved is gonna be where the folder is and I'm I should know where it is so you're gonna get in the screen it looks like this Android system recovery and you're just gonna go to flash actually I'm sorry you're gonna go to wipe you wanna go to <clears throat> uh, wipe all uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit the power button again <clears throat> and then it's gonna take a second to go ahead and do that I normally do a wipe three times each so I'm gonna do first I'm gonna do wipe all user data I do that three times and that'll kind of ensure that everything was erased and nothing was missed. There is a super wipe that uh, Virus, <clears throat> the developer Virus, uh, it has developed. And I have not used that yet, but I'm planning on getting to that uh, definitely before this weekend. I want to see what that's all about because from what I've heard, it does wipe everything fully. And uh, it's pretty much the only thing that you need to do. And I don't know if I did it two times. I think I did it twice. This is my third time. So once you do that a third time, you're going to go down to wipe cache. And you don't have to do it three times, but it's for me, you know, I've been reading that, you know, a lot of developers are saying to wipe three times. Uh, it just kind of helps uh, the system clear properly. And the finally Delvet Cache, we're going to wipe that three times. You're just going to hit the power button twice and go back to it, hit the power button again, and hit the power button one more time. You don't have to wipe anything else really, uh, but those are the main three that you probably want to wipe. Alright, so now that we're done wiping, we're going to go ahead and flash. 
choose uh, choose zip from SD card hit the power button and we're gonna go to our download folder because I'm pretty sure that's where uh, it went to once I downloaded it and there it is M I U I U S supersonic so uh, again this is my first time using the barcode to download so you're gonna hit the power button and we're gonna have some information at the bottom you're just going to hit the power button again and it should start it as I said this is the first time I've used uh, this method of uh, downloading so hopefully all is well and I didn't get any mistakes there have been a few times where I tried downloading with my phone and I've gotten uh, a, I've had problems with it it's uh, kind of a give and take thing I normally just use my laptop to to download what I need uh, to download the file and then I, I just move it to my SD card but you can do it whichever way works um, just be careful about downloading with your phone because if there are any interruptions that could screw up your download and uh, you could uh, brick your phone and since I'm talking about bricking phones uh, I'm not responsible if you do brick your phone so you need to be careful you gotta you take res full responsibility yourself for doing any of this stuff just like I do I have not luckily I have not bricked my phone I've had some close calls and uh, looks like we're done so great alright so now we're just gonna go to hit the return we're gonna highlight return and hit the power button and then we're gonna hit reboot system now hit the power button and just to double check before we reboot install from SD card complete so it looks like we successfully flashed MIUI so now we're just gonna reboot the system that is normal um, the first few times I, I flashed my uh, different ROMs I didn't get that and I started to get it and but that's pretty normal for it to be uh, get that kind of crazy screen there so don't trip too much about that and once I get this fully loaded hopefully keep my fingers crossed that it fully loads up properly once that's loaded I'm I am gonna go back and do a separate review for the ROM I won't be able to get to uh, a full review of the ROM uh, in this same video because I only have about nine minutes per video so but I just wanted to walk you guys through that whole process of uh, how I do it and uh, kind of document me putting down the barcode scanner for this one so this is the website you're gonna go to and it's uh, forums.miui.us and you should be make sure you download the English version unless you are in China and then you probably want to download the Chinese version but uh, so we're loading up now it's a boot animation here MIUI and it's been a while since I've used any version of MIUI uh, the last version I used I wasn't too happy with and I did a review on that one um, I originally when I originally flat, uh, started rooted my phone I, I kinda hate it since I thought that it was too slow and I've used things like CyanogenMod and I use MIUI. MIUI is my favorite for a long time and then I uh, end up, you know, with all the changes with uh, the Sense ROM 2.1 and all those stuff, I actually have gone back to Sense and been more happy with those, with that uh, versus uh, an AOSP ROM. So it looks like we are successful in uploading and downloading all that good stuff. So this looks like normal MIUI. Doesn't look like much has changed with it since I've last been here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a full review on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post a comment and uh, rate and subscribe, guys. Talk to you later.